Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today I'm going to teach you the theme tune to Succession, but before we get into the video, I just want to show you the new Team Recorder embroidered patches. We have these two designs, Team Recorder and Recorder Player. Um, you can iron them on or sew them and I just love them. They're for sale in the Team Recorder web shop so you can support the channel and show your love for recorders. Ah. Um, good. Succession. Season four of this amazing TV show has taken our screens by storm uh, and the theme tune is just so cool. However, unlike the Mandalorian or Lord of the Rings or Titanic, it has nothing to do with the recorder. So I had to be creative. I might have made it a little bit Baroque. I'm gonna start by playing you the whole piece. It's about a minute and a half long, so you can follow along on the screen. It's in C minor, so that you can play along with the original. I'm playing it on the alto, but I have published versions for both alto and soprano, so you can choose. Let's hear it first. So there we have it. If you like this, you can buy my licensed arrangement on my profile on musicnotes.com. That's where all of my film and TV music arrangements are housed. Link below, versions for alto and soprano. So let's get in how to <laughs> let's get into how to play it. The first note I've notated. <laughs> let's hear how it sounds in the original. You can do four options. The easiest option is to just not play it. Second option, play the C. Third option, that's the one I've chosen. We're adding a little grace note up from the B. But if you want to be really fancy, and I do, we can add an arpeggio in C minor. The next stage is getting into the theme itself, the recognizable this. So there are two things here. One is that it's played on the piano in the original theme. The pianist has eight octaves to jump around from with relative ease. I've chosen some octaves here, but you can feel free to shift them around if you like. So if a part goes too high for you, or if those low notes are giving you trouble with the half holes, move it around an octave. Bar five and six is one of my favorite parts. In the original, we have these chords. La, la, la. If you're not feeling so advanced, you can just play the notated top note of each chord. I've chosen. For those of you who are feeling advanced, then go for these grace note arpeggios. We just want to give this kind of sweeping feeling of wah, rah, I like that I'm trying to give as much life as possible to this music when the characters in the show are all pretty much dead inside. The middle section from bar nine on, 
First we get this melody in the low strings and I've just chosen to follow this, it works really nicely. From bar 15 in the original we don't get a melody anymore, we've just got these sweeping string pads. I've basically taken what we've played before and added some baroque embellishments to have a bit of fun. It's all fun. We want to make those trills extravagant. We want to make those dots double. We're feeling as if we are worth $10 billion. And then we go back to the main. If this embellished baroque section from bar 15 is a bit too much, you can just repeat what you played from bar 9 to 14. That works great. The important thing with our trills here is that we're playing them in the baroque style. That means you begin the trill on the upper note, on the note above the one notated. So our trill on a D in bar 15 actually begins on the E flat, the note in the scale above the D. This is to emphasise the harmonic dissonance, adding to the drama of the music. And on a tricky fingering like this, we wouldn't trill E flat D, E flat D, E flat D. You have two options. We can use an alternative fingering. Um, playing E flat with zero, one, three, five, six and trilling with finger four. Or, and this is quite uh, authentic French Baroque, we can make a wider trill by starting on the E flat, going to the D and actually trilling up to an E. Now that E does not belong in the harmony, but because we've emphasised that E flat appoggiatura in the beginning, we've established the harmony and that high E, which is too high for our chord, um, only heightens the drama more. And then we get back to the ending. It's not in the original, but I like to make those descending scales a little bit inegal. Very slightly swung with your articulation. That's something from the French Baroque, again, regal, royal, like the family in the TV series. <laughs> I reeled you in here with the promise of a prestige TV drama and I've used it as a vehicle to shoehorn in some Baroque ornamentation. <laughs> yeah, I do that in every video, so why are we surprised? I think that's all there is to say. So if you enjoyed this, you can pick up the sheet music for yourself in both alto and soprano recorded transpositions down on music notes. That's it for today. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Here's the Team Recorder web shop where you can get the recorder patches and here's some more TV theme music covers. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.